Uh, hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be focusing on how to make this type of hand fan because it is the trending hand fan so the skeleton you see in my hands these are the skeletons that you can use but most preferably we use this other one the white one is the old type of skeleton this is a new type of skeleton that we can use so we just simply uh peel off the the cover so that we can get the sticks all right so when we get the sticks is the stick that we use and one more thing is that you can actually uh it's not compulsory you use it one by one so you can like glue two two together if you don't want it uh to be that much you don't want too much stick like the the good one by our side that you are saying has has so much uh stick so it's not compulsory it has so much sticks like that so you can just glue two together two together two together and maybe you just have like eight eight uh sticks all right and then uh you can even if you want just six uh, sticks you can glue three three together that's just it and then we're going to give it a support with a carton so when you want to give it a support, it mustn't be this type of carton. This is a weave-on uh, carton, okay? So it mustn't be this. You can use normal indomie carton, okay? So we start by wrapping the sticks one uh, after the other. And of course, you can use either trimming or bias. Like the one on this picture is bias okay so that was why i had to use bias to wrap one leg of this one because i don't intend to work with bias since the feathers i'm going to use is a white one so i chose to use trimming but the best trimming that you can use for this uh wrapping is the tiny trimming this one is too fat but for the purpose of this training i chose to use it because i do not have the uh tiny one readily by my side so i chose to use the available one if not please use the tiny trimming okay the tiny trim the tiny trimming is the best and it's going to do a perfect uh, work very neat work more than what this one will do for you so we just go ahead and wrap carefully and wrap you start by sticking down the beginning and then after that you 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 wrap to where you want to get to and then you stick down the ending so preferably you can wrap up to like uh, five five inches yes five that is long hmm? up to five inches long anyway all this depend on the feathers that you have if you have enough feathers it's okay and of course you know that the type of feathers they use you can use dog feathers the one on the fan the gold fan you are seeing is a dog feather or you can use the normal and fan feather so right now you see the part i wrapped with bias okay that is bias why these other ones i did it with trimming so you can either use bias or you use trimming so i'm going to remove that and use trimming to complete the video so i have done that so we'll go ahead and reduce the length now this uh, process is only necessary when you do not have enough um, feathers to cover so i only have one roll of feather and that one roll of feather cannot cover a fan this big okay so because of that i just go ahead and cut it so the measurement i am using right now is seven uh, inches long so i'm just cutting the stick to get seven inches and i'm not just cutting it based on assumption i had to measure it to cut so now that i'm done cutting the inside i cannot cut this fat one with scissors so i'll need to use my hand uh, saw to do that okay so this hand saw is one other equipment that we always have around in our shops so we use the hand saw to carefully uh, cut it because your scissors cannot but if you do not have hand saw you can use a, a knife maybe a knife and armor 
to to cut it okay so now i am done cutting so this is it this is it all right so the next thing we we'll do is to take our carton we're going to take the carton place it under all right then we are going to rule you can use a biro you can use chalk tailoring chalk so you just rule according to the curve of the fan if you use any form of assumption it will not work so you are going to rule according to the curve and then you take a width maybe two inches depth inward but you have to ensure that that depth is going to step on top of the part that you have already wrapped because none of the unwrapped part is supposed to be showing after placing your feather so you just have to ensure from the beginning that your carton can cover it and then secondly i used just one carton on one side of the fan but you can go ahead and use two as saying that is you can cut out two separate uh carton for both the front and the back side of your fan okay so right now we have this this is what we have so i will go ahead and use my hot glue to glue it down so that it sticks to it okay okay so you can see how it is looking it's properly seated now so like i said we can use two if you like but i just used one so we just go ahead right now and place our feathers so after this process i will be showing you how to finish up the edge so you can see that that ending there is not properly covered yet so i'm going to show you how you can carefully uh, cover that place in a very neat uh, way okay so we'll place the feathers now
so you can see what we did and you can see the wrapping and how the finishing is coming out is beautiful so let me use this opportunity to welcome all those persons that are just joining this channel for the first time if you are just discovering creative events international for the first time and you are here watching our video i just want to say thank you to you and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel before leaving today and i will also appreciate if you can recommend this channel to your friends relations and loved ones thank you very much i'll see you in my next video bye the next video is going to be about the round one okay